You're watching Voice Tube with Brandon Voice Guy. <laughs> a man who normally shows off the drip I've got but uh check this out your boy got the G Fuel sweatpants you know just just for lounging you know what I mean just just for having those days where you just want to play video games and just lounge around while I adjust my while I adjust my uh, camera and stuff but probably didn't hear me good along with that I also got a uh, what a hoodie or a, a sweatshirt wow I'm really dripping on that where's my sponsorship G fuel come on I'm 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 a, I'm a walking advertisement you know what I'm saying <laughs> I just wanted to show off some stuff I got from G fuel uh, I got the slushy cup finally and uh, I'm I'm learning how to use a slushy cup that I, 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 I properly and make a slushy without looking goofy and stuff but anyways on to the creepypasta, Coursera. I, I figured I'd just throw a random name out and it kind of fit. Um, it it kind of flowed with the name and stuff. I just, something that was sort of inspired by uh, the uh, Ben Drown thing. I had uh, Beyond the Beyond growing up and I always had the issue of that glitch where the, 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 the beginning sequence with the girl and the dragon would always skip would always like not skip but repeat and you would have to do that whole long thing over again so i thought you know what what if there's a reason for that you know what if there's a reason for why it did that it was haunted or something anyways i hope you guys enjoy poor sarah has something ever happened to you that you really couldn't explain like something would act normal and then one particular day it it didn't? Uh, let me explain. Uh, you see, I had a game called Beyond the Beyond growing up, and I recently found it. It, it was okay for RPG standards back in the day, you know. Uh, it did get difficult in certain parts, but for the, you know, for the, for the most part, it was alright. Uh, last time I played it, I, I can't remember, I was like a kid or something. Uh, all I remember happening was I started out in the beginning screen you know the kaleidoscope thing and for those who've played the game you probably are aware of the infamous glitch or bug where the beginning section with the lady and the dragon would repeat now I don't know if that's the case for everyone but it's only happened one or two times as I remember playing the game uh, usually you have to restart the game just to, you know, it's it, it, it's not too much trouble unless you just continuously repeat it and not know what's going on. I recently played the game again, and when I pushed start to start the whole kaleidoscope thing, the the background was, I can't explain it, but it was like, it, it was like, it was inverted. The colors were negative, and the song was really low pitched and playing backwards uh, I know I know it sounds weird but it, it, it exactly what happened it, it, it never happened like that before and it, it was playing some weird melody uh, but anyways the text popped up and the only thing that came back came up was poor Sarah over and over again before freezing. Uh, turning off and turning on the game would just result in the same thing every single time. Uh, this this never happened. Like this isn't just some ordinary glitch like just repeating the beginning thing. The last time I tried rebooting the game, however, in big bold letters it said, "What do you want?" Now that wasn't the creepy part, no, no. It was followed by a voice. Normally, it would be, you know, how usual RPGs are, it's sort of gibberish. But, I heard a voice that came of it. And, of course, I jumped. Then, uh, a text box appeared. So, of course, I'm obviously confused. But, the, the first thing I typed is, who's Sarah? 
to which it says she owned the game before you which was weird because I remember having this game as long as I could remember although I didn't really ask my uncle how he got the game so anyways I said what happened to Sarah and this time the woman spoke and she said why don't you find out before the entire PlayStation shut off and now of course that was kind of startling because it just completely went to a black screen and I checked my PlayStation and uh, there wasn't a red light but like the entire PlayStation shut off so I, I kind of panicked because I thought my PlayStation was fried so I turned it back on and to my shock the game started up normal so relieved that not only was the game okay but my PlayStation wasn't messed up back in the day the PlayStation 3's weren't exactly the most reliable uh, it, it, it could burn up for no reason I removed the disc and was about to put in another game when the game started up again in the text box was an address at first I was just staring at the screen surprised uh, the backward music was still playing it, it wasn't frozen it was if it was just waiting so I quickly written down the address and the second I finished writing it down the screen went black again so I was able to find the address and to my surprise it wasn't abandoned uh, I walked up and knocked on the door and an old lady answered uh, of course I was like hi I um, I explained everything the best I could and I asked if she knew Sarah or someone named Sarah and she said Sarah was her daughter she asked why I wanted to know and I made up an excuse saying that she had an old save file in the game and my uncle explained to me where he got the game from so I just thought I'd asked to see if she wanted the game or some awkward explanation before thanking her for her time and uh, leaving I could clearly tell she wasn't there uh, however as I left uh, I noticed a neighbor was outside and he walked by and asked if I knew the lady I was talking to I'm, I'm not gonna say any names and I said no and I explained to him what was going on and asked if he knew who Sarah was and he said that she was his niece uh, when she was diagnosed with cancer they gave her the game as a gift because she always liked playing RPGs like Pokemon and he thought it would be a good way for her to keep her mind off things and before she passed away he told me that she would tell him that she'd talk to the video game like like they were her friend y you know 10 year olds in their imagination oh that was it what do you guys think let me know if you have any ideas for a uh, creepypasta for a voice tober video for a rick rants rick tober video uh, I have an idea that I think I did with Yumi in an episode or just something uh, involving Squad 8 or like a, 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 a Rick creepypasta thing. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your October season and I'll see you next time for more Voicetober. Ooh. Oh yeah, and check out the latest episode of Squad 8, episode 15, The Queen That Loved Me. Uh, I... It, it, it's a really good episode. Hope you enjoy, and yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you for watching Ghost Seasons. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and request. Hit the bell to let you know when Brandon goes live or uploads another video. Check out the two videos on the screen and subscribe if you haven't already. There are also donation links in the crypt. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next voice over. <laughs>